All right, everyone. I am finally back from vacation. It was hell getting back. I will say that. Like, holy shit, man. I, I really just want to sleep. Uh, we were actually planning to stream the day I actually got back. We were supposed to get back two days earlier. But then a big storm hit, plane got cancelled, there was a whole bunch of shit. Uh, my thumb got all fucked up. We think it's just sprained because it really hurts to move it, but it isn't broken. Anywho. I found this game from like, I think it was Jacksepticeye? And it was the most beautiful looking game I have ever seen. Tape of Josh. This is so... Alright, hey boss. As you can see, the, um, the people were able to clean up the place and I was able to help. Really, um, really good. Uh, that one spot that was really bad, uh, I that may be an exception. But, uh, everything else is clean. Um, as you can see right here, I'll be moving around here a little bit to show you. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but I'll go to room one soon. Just wanted to let you know. God dang it. What? Stupid light. Uh, what? Hey, who turned that on? I've seen the time. This is really good. <laughs> oh, shit. This, this looks really good, like, holy shit. It's on Unreal, which, yeah, this is Unreal. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? My computer is, like, humming. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. And of course you can run. Solitude is one of the greatest obstacles a wanderer can face. It is something beyond our control, something that eats away at us, little by little, killing the unwary before they even realize it. It is, dare I say, our deepest fear. That is why it should not come as a surprise to humanity, as a surprise that this cursed place we now call home has found a way to take advantage of humanity's inherent need for companionship. Okay. Very deep. Uh, that looks like a password that we'll need, so I'm going to, um... Just bust out my phone here and put it down. Alright, six. Oof. Yeah. He is the default key for interactions. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Uh, mon management project. That was perfect timing for me to shout and just go. Hey! Oh wait. Oh. This is a great feature. Hey there, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good. Certainly better than like the past couple days. It's nice to be back streaming. This looks so damn good. But I'm definitely going to see something that will keep me up all night. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone here? I wonder if the shout aesthetic thing is actually useful. Or is it just for aesthetic? Hello? I'm doing good, just spending some quiet time in the back rooms. Sounds good. I legit would love to do the same. Hello? 
before, like, the back rooms are horrifying, and I'm like, I don't have to pay taxes when I'm in there, so, uh... Gee. Take me away from all that responsibility I've been... put on. Is anyone here? There's an arrow. Share. It's a chair. Zone B. Oh. <gasps> Another chair. Titan TV man is here to save the day. The chairs are dangerous. Chairs are dangerous. <laughs> and it's just gonna be like, the chairs start moving towards me and that's it. Alright, seems to crouch, got it. Yo. This is fantastic looking, by the way. Alright, five. Does it end? Yeah. Five. <laughs> Mike, check out how good this game looks. Whoa. Square. That's a square. <gasps> There's mushrooms. This is, like, the funniest part to me, like... The universal constant, everyone, is that no matter what universe you are in, there will be mushrooms. There is a strange humidity in this place, and the carpet is wet in this part. It seems to come from this white area, which gives rise to the mushroom. I was very hungry, so I ate one of them. Now my body won't stop itching, and I have so many bruises, even on my head. Okay, these mushrooms are not good for eating. Got it. Eat. I saw the store open one time when the lights were red. Got it. The gall, though, to just... Oh, holy shit, these look really good. The gall to just, like, be like, Oh, yeah, I found a mushroom in a place that seems to be hell or something. Uh, I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> Good luck! Whoa. Whoa. This definitely returns the backgrounds, it seems, to, like, the form it was meant to be of, like, this artistic endeavor. I like the head shake. <gasps> Guys! It's a pot! <gasps> it's a pot! From Bowser! What's this? <laughs> it's a pot! Oh, I have zoom in. Imagine you see a skibidi toilet camera beating it up and gives you a thumbs up. I'd have no idea how to react though. I do, I do like uh, the idea that. The, uh, there's always this really good idea I hear about. There's no entities in the back rooms. 
It's just that you go insane and you think that there's an entity. Well, class is in session here, clearly. Oh, sweet zombie Jesus. There's spiders in the back rooms. If there's cobwebs, there's spiders. You are the cameraman? Oh. Bro, we need the cameraman to beat the shit out of everyone. Deja vu area. This is your first time here. If this area feels familiar, immediately learn Foundation staff. If you see something, say so. SCP Foundation. You ain't slick. The, SC the SCP Foundation in the back rooms are just the same thing, basically, anyways. The, que the question is, when am I going to start seeing weird porn in the back rooms? When are, when are you guys going to just, like, one day be like, Dude, holy fuck. And just send me the most cursed image I've ever seen of something in the back rooms. Those are the lights being fucky from my computer, I imagine. Back rooms is an infinite world. True. Anyone who is disagreeing with that ignores the fact that the backrooms itself was intended to be like that. Like, it's intended to be just this. Does it ever have an end? There should be no canon size to backrooms. It should just be like, this is what's thought. Blah, blah, blah. Where's the door? I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Oh, here we go. Level three, nine, 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 nine. I feel like there should be a debate on whether there is exits. I feel like if you put in exits, it kills the point, but. Oh, whatever. I like the idea of, like,. There could be exits every level. There could not be. You could exit at any moment, just like how you entered at any moment. The first roll number is 9. Got it. Password is scattered all over the place. How much more do we got? Three more things. Level 3999. Hold on. Oh, that. I kind of like this stock of that. So I, I will say, like, to me, that feels like a fitting ending. But I thought that was also called the Infinite Arcade. As in, it stretches on forever. This is like, you know what this feels like? This feels like a, what every type of backrooms game could be. Just like, this camera shake. Yeah, you got to escape the backrooms. I did too, and I, uh, 
I gotta say, after seeing this once, this game feels immediately better. This game already plays better than Escape the Backgrounds. I'm, I'm gonna start making up my own levels in the backrooms. Like, uh, I hate that people think that you can't just do that, but I can. And my favorite one so far, everyone, is the empty ring, which is just a ring. What am I? Well, I'm a prophet, and I foresee a new world. Will you be part of it? So, the idea of the empty ring is that it's a boxing ring. And you enter it and get boxing gloves, right? And your mission from there on out is to beat the shit out of the entity that you have to fight. You can't, if you lose, you just have to wait in your next turn. If you win, you get into the next level. Alright. Can someone hear me? We got exhausted. Hoping there's no level 94 in this. Me too. I do not enjoy North Carolina. It's a struggle to get back to North Carolina. No offense to anyone who lives in North Carolina like me, but like, North Carolina sucks. This is the first time I've played a Backrooms game and genuinely felt lost. Which I think is a really good idea. I feel like you could see... Oh look, a first aid kit. Chairs. Remember guys, chairs are dangerous. Tip, don't die. Thank you for that tip. I will try and stay alive, but I'm already dead as you can tell. fucked up would it be if you kept doing this, right? And then, at some random point, you get a reply. Hello? Hey! Three is the third. I was expecting that to turn around so much. I think it works, yeah, it works better like that. I see backrooms in high school looks impotent. But I'm done with school. Yeah. I forgot how old the concept of them now is. Well, look at this. This is poor plug management. I took the computer monitor that was here to the lab since the one in the lab was apparently broken. My legs and feet hurt because I walk so much while carrying these things. I hope I can finish this because it may be the only way out of this place. 
I connected the computer to the library module so I can get access to the generator, but the problem is that it keeps requesting a password. I think I will be stuck here forever. You had a computer here and you just... You didn't, like, reach out to someone on the internet? Like, hey... <laughs> I'm writing this letter in hope that it will be found someday, maybe by someone who finds me or here or finds this letter. I don't know if I'm crazy or I'm dead. But this place doesn't seem to belong in this world. I've seen things here that I can't describe. I ended up here while doing some graffiti around town. And now I'm here with my backpack and my only and my only white spray. This place is huge, so I'm leaving markings on the wall for myself or anyone who might come down here. I've read some letters from other people, and it seems that this place has multiple floors. There are hostile creatures, too. Oh, boy. And while I've <laughs> seen some things, I don't have the courage to approach them. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of here and mark the walls or update this note with what I find. Provided I don't get lost in this place. If you find us, please don't take them so that others can be saved, too. There's a big riddle in this place. Find some of the notes as they contain some information. How did they figure out the password? Oh, now these are interacting with shit. Oh my god! That is an oh my god moment, but none of those are interactable. I'd love to get- there's one backrooms game that like spray paint. That you can actually put on the wall for your own markings. I feel like that is a thing that more people should be taking advantage of. Alright. Did we go? Yeah, we went here, right? Did we find a note? I feel like they wouldn't be cruel enough to put the notes around here in locations that are extremely hard to find them. Been in the back rooms for years now, I can't imagine an ex find an exit. Yeah, that's probably the point. Imagine spray painting Muscle Man in the back- oh my god I would. Look, guys, I'm gonna be real. If anyone got trapped in the back rooms, I don't think that they'd be spray painting like, oh yeah, this is how I survived. They'd spray paint like a shit post before they died. You'd fall into the back rooms and you'd find out just like someone put, you know who else is trapped in here, bro? And then next to it is Muscle Man's face, like Mike just said. Call out Titan TV, man. <gasps> Plant! You'd find, like, someone just randomly drew Peter Griffin on the, on the wall and it just says, Hey, Lois! Alright. If you don't know who, who Titan TV may- Alright, I will, because I do not know. Titan TV Man. Oh, like the big TV guy? I did not know who he was. I got literally like tightened your TV to its mount before I got Titan TV, man. Alright, did I read this? Yes, the chairs are dangerous. 
The chairs are evil. Can we see her breath in here? We got two more. Tempted to do process of deduction. Just be like, stand back. One, 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 one. Stand back. <laughs> one, 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 two. You've turned the red lights on. It's happy hour, and you need to start running. Chris Chan is in the back rooms. Sweet Jesus Christ, that would be horrifying. It would be hilarious, though, for the sheer thing of like, oh my god, you're in the back rooms, and who's there to help you, Sonic 2? Should we look up a note? Just said this entire stream is of me running around. Lost and confused. I feel like it could be in here. Imagine you see a lot of food in the back rooms for free. That'd be dope. Imagine you go through the back rooms, guys, and there's the Fortnite Battle Pass. Yo, look! A door- oh wait. Do you have anything, Mysterious Door? I know of a place where there is a door. Door! Ever dream this man? Well, have any of you ever dreamt that man? Because you might. Oh, fire extinguisher, handy. I'm pointing there's a fire extinguisher there. Alright, the lights are red. Only here. A door. Is anyone here? Hmm, looks like you don't have the key. Well, shit, guys, if the shit. <laughs> if the chairs are dangerous, I think we're about to fucking die. There's one chair tipped over. Hello, I am an astronaut. I honestly don't know how I got here. I just remembered that my spaceship malfunctioned, but I had to get out to fix it. Unfortunately, my safety equipment broke, and I thought I was already dead. I wandered in space for a few hours when suddenly I felt as if gravity suddenly returned. And here I am in this gigantic place that seems infinite. I'm leaving this letter in case someone, anyone else falls here or is already here and can find me, in case I'm still alive. Important. I found some letters from other people here which mention other levels, possibly floors or dimensions of this place. Someday they have already passed through specific floors, including numbered ones. For example, this one is apparently called Level Zero. 
From what I read in the other letters, getting out of here will be difficult. It seems I like something to be unraveled. I discovered one of the numbers. Nine is the first. Nine is the first. Oh, I was about to say, it's usually game design, but... Something would be hidden there, but not here, it looks like. Chair! I don't understand why they don't just leave the entire password on a single note. <laughs> I think no one has discovered it yet, or maybe who discovered it died. Or maybe we should hide the answer from someone. What I do know is that 8 is probably the second... Yeah, you see, 8 is probably the second number, like... S what? How? I thought those were windows. I do enjoy... that this person experimented with, like, surrealism in the back rooms. So, like, not everything makes sense, which is the in intention you should have, like... What the fuck is this place, after all? Nothing makes sense here. I did like one person's take on the back rooms, though, which was... It's like if God had a plane, like a sandbox... And he buried it underneath all his other creations. As if to forget about it. You know who'd make a great Backrooms game, everyone? Bethesda. All their shit's no clipping everywhere anyways. Skyrim is the back room secretly. That's why you no-clip know all the time. The back rooms are for the Nords! Realistically, now that I think about it, Skyrim is a level of the back rooms because no one can argue that it isn't. If you want to argue that Skyrim isn't a part of the back rooms, I would love to hear what your argument for it is. Like, for real. Go on. Hey! Horse tilting happens in the- exactly, like if you find a horse in the back room and tilt it, For anyone who has no idea what horse tilting is, it is an experience, is all I can say. Like, actual experience. Is there actual... Okay, so I am just gonna look something up. Is there a person who is very nice to tell... Alright, the secret password. Does he tell- does he tell us where the note actually is, or no? Oh! He told it- oh. He told us something different, actually. So you all can feel free to follow along if you want to with this. Alright.
There is a secret password in this game that is meant to add replay value and can also add new notes in if you want to have those. So for the sake of fun, and so we can experience that, we'll try this. It is usable as a password for anyone wondering. So if like, let me actually read more about this. It also might be a speedrunning trick. Speedrunning this game would be fun. So apparently... I haven't found the regular password for anyone wondering, but I did find the secret one on Steam Guides. Someone was polite and shared it. It does offer a different experience entirely, so we might try it. So on the, contra on the contrary to the obvious of like everything's in danger and you gotta run really fast, you can do another password that... Alright. So this password is like you are intended to get the password I was trying to get. Alright. Apparently that is seven. I'll mark it down. There we go. If you want the secret one, which you are meant to get after you do this segment, Right? It is eight two seven three eight four. Which we got for. My name is Jennifer, scientist and lead researcher at SCP. I'm recording this message to record the success and the task of shutting down the generator at this location, allowing that metal door to open. The problem is, apparently this brought something from another dimension. I created a password so that the generator doesn't turn off by accident. When deciding to enter the password to be able to access another dimension, whatever it is, be prepared to run for your life. Yeah, right there. You can get you can get the other secret password right there. But we're going to do the password that is secret. This will apparently make us unable to die. Yep. The lights will turn blue. Instead of red, we will hear the entity around. I want to repeat that. You will hear him, but you will not be able to make your way. The 
This place may be a gap between dimensions, a transitional space between realities. Can it be a new world? Why does it exist? What is this place? I hope we can find answers to all these questions. Good luck. Maybe the astronaut has the answers we need. So the intention before was the lights turn red and you have to run really fast to the place with the mushrooms. But as you can all tell, I've turned the lights blue. It's a safe in the back rooms now. And I really like it aesthetically. I kind of wish there was more Easter eggs. It'll be a fun one if you turned on the extra secret password, right? Like it just shows up in a random level and that's how you find it. And it's like when you turn it on, it plays like a monologue like, You found the password. We didn't think you'd get it. Alright, now we should be able to. Alright, ready everyone? Oh, Jesus. That got me for like a moment. Alright, time to shower. about a Scooby-Doo this mofo. It's weird that you can't jump in the pool there, but I guess your character's trying to fall in. Plants. This looks amazing. Is anyone here? Holy Jesus. Some of you may call this a walking simulator game. And like, yeah, it definitely is. Can someone hear me? But that is awesome to have for a backgrounds game. Like, that's like the whole fear of the backgrounds. So I don't understand why you want it empty as shit. The whole fear aspect is just... It's infinitum. impossible for things like this to exist. So when we get trapped in them, it's even worse. Hey! Hello? 
I wonder if anything else ever ends up in the back rooms. Like, could a dog end up here? Could a bird end up here? Could a cat end up here? Oh, that's it. Yeah, or like children ending up here. God, that would be extra horrifying. Is like all this stuff just falling into here, or is it just generated artificially? Is this a normal room that just ended up in the back rooms? Yeah, stuff like that. This is just gorgeous! Holy shit! You see a lot of people playing only up. Yeah, it's become the new getting over it, hasn't it? This is just fucking amazing. This is aesthetic as hell. Would you actually play it or no? I feel like if I did, I would immediately get super pissed. I do have an- I will say this, for any longtime viewers. I have maybe splurged a bit on the Steam Summer Sale. I have gotten some games that I really wanted to show stream, that I really wanted to play on stream. There's all sorts of games I have got. I feel like a lot of you will be really happy. Man, this is just too beautiful. That's the best part about a backrooms game, is if you fuck up a bit of the geometry. Did you really know, or was it just a backrooms thing? We're like... Jesus. We're so high in the sky that we're not above the clouds, but you can look down. Jesus. This is so sick. Oh, do we gotta leave so soon though? Oh, yay! There's a sun. There is a sun. What the fuck is this? This is just the Super Mario Sunshine levels where you lose flood now. <laughs> this is some like... Hold on. Hold on a moment, everyone. This is some, like, this is going on the thumbnail for today. Mainly because that is just such a beautiful thing to look at. But I want everyone to be able to experience it. Hold on. 
think that... There we go. Print screen was changed in Windows to be like this really, really dumb thing. Yeah, and a sun in the back rooms. There it is. The unlimited power of the sun is in the back rooms. The fact that it's not roasting this person alive means that in the back rooms there is enough space for there to be a sun and have roof like conditions. I think the thing is that if we were five feet closer, we'd all be dead or something. This does really remind me of like Dreamcore. Yeah, you can see some parts of it coming in like slowly, but whatever. Hey! Look at that. Well, peace. I wonder what it'll be. This is a very beautiful game. Like, off the bat, this game is just like a flex. I think they are in least Unreal Engine 5, right? Imagine playing this in Unreal Engine 5, like how insane you can make that look. Because if I remember right, wasn't it Unreal Engine 5 that people were like, Yo, this body cam footage looks rather realistic. Oh, the music cut out. This can't be heaven. You know? That's so... Oh, oopsie daisy. There we go. Yeah, I get it. This place really can't be heaven, but... This part of it ain't exactly hell. It's like God's waiting room right there. It's nice to see that someone else made it here at some point. It's kind of sad to see though that they were very distressed when they reached here. Table with a view. I 
Man, like, if you get transported in four rooms, I don't think you got much to complain about. You clearly got transported in some part of heaven. I do love that that's a universal agreement, though, is that, like, the pool rooms is, like, one of the safest places to be, and there's nothing really bad there at all. It's just very nice and relaxed. Look, man, if I got teleported there, you bet your sweet ass I am, like, never leaving. This has a nice sense of atmosphere. And it's very, like, fucky wicky. Hello? Oh, I heard a voice. Is anyone here? Can someone hear me? Can someone hear me? <laughs> This reminds me a lot of, like, well, my house. This is like every, every house inside North Carolina. Is anyone here? Holy fuck. SAP or only up? Only up. I think only up is a little more entertaining to watch. This is a very beautiful field. There's some very nice rendering techniques here. Very creepy field. I don't know if anyone else heard it, but there was like fucking footsteps. In the place. Well. We got gnomed. <laughs> well guys, welcome to the gnome rooms. This is it. The gnome rooms. The music is killing me. <laughs>
You know those videos where, that people make of like the entities all dancing? This is where I, I feel like you'd find that. This is a perfect description of what you could do though, like, go from like, creepy atmosphere and everything's horrifying to just like this. I think I want to go in here. I like the chimes. Watch like watch us like find a note in here though, right? That's like the gnomes ate my testicles. Literally, though, literally. I don't think that's copyright for two reasons. One, because it's sung by a robot. Second, because that. If it was copyrighted, I feel like it wouldn't have been in the game. Well, this is peaceful. So is this like the nostalgia rums or something? Like... Is this just like going to be like a peaceful child's room? It certainly reminds me of the vibes I get when like Yeah, when I was like a kid. This message is broadcasted to raise awareness of a new drug in circulation. The Snile drug. We advise for you to stay away from any person suspected to be under its influence. For the past few months, we have received over 500 deaths related to the drug. The drug itself has not been scientifically investigated. Its most obvious effects are mania, uncontrollable laughter, violent tendencies, and the latch snile in which the drug was named after. How do you ensure your Jesus. safety outside? Avoid dark alleys since most reported deaths happened near or in the dark alley. If you hear suspicious laughter, run as fast as you can. Avoid eye contact with the person. Once the person notices you, it will begin pursuit. Do not interact. You will most likely be- Oh. this little tape here is, but it is kind of cool. And I assume this is an SCP though. D 
do 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 do. The Joker gas. Someone really do, did just go like, what if the Joker made mushrooms? Well, that's horrifying. I really do wonder how long this is. Are we gonna get killed for sitting here or something? It is spooky. It be spooky. but it is interesting to see that they're making up this lore. So that guy who ate the mushrooms in the first level, in level zero, he is probably dead. checked. Oh, Jesus. This does remind me a lot of, like, a child's room. Oh, 
a slide. You know, guys, slides are like the first roguelites. Because you have endless replay value. <laughs> The gameplay is similar, but the replay value, it's fucking endless. Oh, Jesus. That actually, like, got me to, like, ugh, a bit. I do not like when uh, there's little children over. Oh my god, guys, it's everyone's favorite person. <laughs> Mike! Mike Roden! Yo, there's a bouncy house up in here. And there's Dobble. Or Doug. Doug Duck. question is where's Doug or N Doug where's a uh, Garf <laughs> that's his name Garf oh I had to walk really slow as I'm crouching I have to walk slow. Oh, God. There we This, this gives me vibes when, like, you're a little kid and everything's just so huge. Mm-hmm. Blanket teepees. I think one of my little cousins has those. I never had one as a kid growing up. But I think one of my little cousins has those. Oh, this. Dutch Angles Ahoy. Funhouse Effect Ahoy. Oh, I really like that, though. Not enough games that with, like, horror elements use the Funhouse Effect. Which, for anyone who has <sighs> never experienced the funhouse effect, it's when the floor is slightly slanted. Like, just enough. It really messes with your head. Whee! Let me do it again. Can't get up there. But yeah, um, the funhouse effect is really effective for anything horror based. I think it might also have another name. I think it's like an Alice in Wonderland hall to some people. But yeah, for some people it's a 
fear that sets in really hard. Mike Roden. You know, this ain't half bad. I'd play some pool here. a set thing that I can't escape. Ah! Yep. Continue. That was really effective. That was really good. Tape recorded in 1985. Found in 2035. Jesus. Josh has not been found. Well, guys, Josh hasn't been found. <laughs> As the creature. <laughs> that was really good. Is there any other tapes now? Nope. It looks like that's all there is for now. Yeah, so you can only play one tape out of five at the moment. Probably because that takes forever to make. <laughs> Balloons always equals party goers. I had no idea about that. But yeah, that was a great game. I really enjoyed it. I thought it looked beautiful. It actually managed to scare me in the end there. Like, I was like, oh, fuck. Because we are... Definitely about to die when that happens. So I guess Josh now is like, well, where did he go? That's actually kind of fun. Like, where did he end up going? Did he, did he show up anywhere? Is he just deeper in the back rooms? We won't know. That was a great way to use the entity. Uh, have a have a good night, everyone. Be safe. I will be back tomorrow. I think no wait. Tomorrow I have a shift. Tomorrow I will also know my schedule. So that is all. Have a good night and be safe. When I am back, uh, we're probably going to play other games. I'm thinking of starting a new series of long videos that you guys are definitely going to love. But yeah, have a good night and be safe when we're back. I I'm just going to let it speak for itself when we're back.